Hey there YouTube, uh, it's been the long wait, but a lot of exciting things, and uh, let's get started. There's a lot to talk about, a lot to showcase, and uh, yes, there's an awesome new logo, so you guys can see it. Yeah, lights up the data center pretty cool. Talk about everything that you see here, so this is the next project I'm working on. It's to bring cold air during the winter. Um, ordered some conduit to actually make it go around the rack, which will blow cold air up. And uh, there's a hot and cold aisle. So right now in the room in the front is around 71 degrees. So it does fairly well. So let's get started. So first we see here is the production rack, all the primary services uh, that are operating from containers to uh, websites to dedicated game servers, um, etc. I mean everything. It's a four node cluster uh, running vSAN ESA. We have it running uh, VMware Cloud Foundation 5.1 flawlessly. We have 512 gigs of RAM for each server, two terabytes total. Uh, roughly around 20 terabytes of storage once you uh, calculate all of the three uh, 1.6 terabyte disks. They are uh, Samsung uh, re mixed use disks, so they're actually pretty nice. Uh, we have the same SAN slash NAS topology, uh, so this is actually uh, providing SAN and NAS services to my cluster for a tier 2 storage, but I'm actually working on getting a power edge, uh, not a power edge, a power vault, a power vault MD3600 high for tier 2 uh, storage, whereas this one will be kind of phased out from a SAN purpose. That way I can just use a dedicated NAS for uh, having all the files being hosted and um, providing 100 terabytes of just SMB shares rather than actually carving away half of it and things like that so this is still the same archive server uh, copy data off of to it once every uh, few weeks from here all the backups it's a cold so I power it on on and off every time I need it so that's what it does two battery backups one I'm working on replacing the batteries and uh, getting all that configured so this is the front of it uh, it's a hot and cold aisle so the fans are pulling air to the other side, they've been reversed, so that way it's nice. So now we're going to go to the other rack. So here we go, we're at the second rack. We have a Palo Alto, it's a 5220. It's a really nice add-on to the uh, home data center, as well as providing services to the external world. Uh, from my website, from the blog, I mean you name it. So all the inspection goes done through here. Uh, being able to um, control how the internet hands off the traffic um, to the NSX environments, to the production cluster, to everything. So it's running 1101 uh, image, so it's the latest one. Uh, we have the old lab still here, and we might fire it up and actually make it into a uh, workload domain from the management environment, which is over there. So this is a work in progress. Here's the old Palo Alto. I might keep it, might sell it, but it's also running the latest image. So right now it's just turned off, no use for it. Uh, Cisco 3650 switch, just turned off. Another 740, no 730. We have an R330 here and a UPS. So that's kind of this side of you guys to see. It's been a long await. Uh, video, a lot of the changes, a lot of add-ons. I was like, you know what, let's just wait to make one good long video. So now let's talk about the cooling. So we have uh, the hot air for the winter time getting pumped back into the house. So the whole house upstairs is around uh, 69, 70 degrees. Hot air gets pulled through here. This is an AC infinity. So Everything gets controlled through here. The filter, right now it's removed because it's really not dusty, but have better airflow to pull through. So, so here's our first rack. 
So we have a work in progress. It's uh, replacing DAC cables and moving things around because uh, vSphere 8 won't no longer supports uh, Connect X3, so all these I have to remove and just use regular onboard. So that's kind of what I have to do. But hash panel for fiber, interconnect, interact. Uh, we have a one gig uh, Arista uh, switch for all the management. Fiber is a 10 gig switch. I've seen one of them right now. I might get two later. Um, but this is for all the NSX uplinks. So all the servers, their NSX, everything terminates here. So that kind of helps out. The back of the Palo Alto. You got your two uh, OS disks, two logging disks, two power supplies, and all that. And I have PDUs, network management. These are uh, switched, so I can control the inter inter interface. So, and now let's go to the second rack. So now we're here at the primary rack. So you can see there's two 40 gig switches. Uh, they are both uh, lag, so there's an 80 gig bond between them. Uh, fiber, we have some uh, coax, and we have twin X, I mean. Uh, we have MPO cables, LC, so there's a mixture of different uh, ones in this rack. So, right now we have using a Connect X4s. It's a uh, single per each server. This is just providing the VLAN uh, native services for uh, VCF services for VLANs, management, um, iSCSI, vMotion, you name it. So we have that, power supplies, so we have left and right. So what, how this is set up is actually the left side of the, the breaker box, and this is the right side of the breaker box, so that way I know that one breaker trips, they're all set up. So the 220 amp services coming in, and there's a cutter getting sucked in to go upstairs. And then we have that set up.